support coming up now. Reckless with ambush is Already available. Stealth. Does he decide to spray and pray? No flash. Che's gonna get jumped on. Stranglethorns will buy some time. Captors on the front line. Here comes Jezzes. He's got the baby cage. Not gonna use it yet. Double kill for Fnatic. They back away and set their sights to the tower. And right here, you get exactly that kind of situation where H2K do not see a lot of Fnatic members on the minimap. And they know someone could be there, but it's too late for them to turn around. And then suddenly, Source engage in work. And that's actually super exciting to see. It really is. And, you know, we came out to get ready for the show about 20 minutes before 5 o'clock. About 20 minutes before that, Fnatic were on stage getting ready. Yeah. Yankos is under a little bit of pressure. I'll carry on with that story in a second. Overload into Rune Prison. Connects with another Overload. So has his body blocked. Oh! 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 The blast code! Oh my God. First blood to Caps! Oh, Fnatic, uh, it's seemingly in the mind of H2K right now. That blast cone back over. He's now lost control of apartments and the AWP has gone down low. So he'll have to fall back towards the library. Dupree smoking towards the art side. This will be an A-side attack. Almost certainly going to be focusing on quad. One round will do it to take the title. Dupree leads the way. Molotov lands. Blinded he is in rain. Therefore, can strike to get two. Malu getting the other my mistake, but still, it is the crossfire set. And Astralis held out at quad because Kiyoshima is also in the mix, and they'll back off a minute and four. Don't want to go anywhere, because Q, the silver scrape, is going to game five. Be doo doo be woo woo be woo woo boo doo doo <laughs> It's <laughs> worse than I thought it would be. H2K have taken it so quickly, so that is a good little response out of H2K. Push that down, reduce some of the play area for Fnatic already. All right, leap over the wall for Yankos. The Cocoon, I think, by some time. There goes the Lantern out, Whoop. and Caps oh flashes forward, sidesteps backwards. Oh, those blue suede shoes are made for dancing. Baby... Bjergs? I'm not saying, I'm not getting involved. His Trevor, name is Caps. Baby. His name is Caps. Come on, that was a faker move. I love that. That faker was really wouldn't well have played. We draw a second Shadow Visions, right? So, if we play Shadow Visions, nothing should happen, right? Okay, there's no Shadow Visions left. I guess, I guess playing our Shadow Visions do nothing. Huh? Huh? Oh, look at this. Would you look at that? That's pretty neat, huh? Turns out you don't need spells in your decks to play Shadow Vision. Going up to get the top side pushing even faster as well. A lot of vision for CLG around this Baron to set up. CLG again just so good at making sure they set up correctly around the map. But FlyQuest are a wildcard team. Lemonation gonna be quiet by Darshan, but Altec gonna lay the shots in. Darshan goes down instantly. And now High who's gonna dive back in, but he needs to get Stick State. Find Dick Smithy instead. Rake damage is almost enough to take him down. The Ignite isn't quite there. High actually does take him down. Jungler down. The YOLO Camille throw right here from Darshan. No deal. So what the hell could he have possibly stole? Did you see him? Did you like anything this? You good? <laughs> oh my god. You good? You're killing me. <laughs> um, do you want it? <laughs> Oh my god. Shepard, welcome back. Nice to see you again in life. Blessing. They had to do this to wake her up! <laughs> Did you hear it? Amazing old tournament to be fair, he always is. Seems to be Mr. Consistent right now. 
some big rounds from him, especially when he picks up the AWP on the defending rounds. Das wäre es denkt. Twice, gentlemen, I have to show you something. I, I actually have a replay that I've requested, um, which I'd like to queue up right now. It is, of course, of Baby Faker. Um, <laughs> Wait, you said it his, now? With his mechanical outplay. Just look how, how cheeky this is to get out of what is a 1v4. Oh, steps past Odo Omni, flashes out of the barrel. That is beautiful. Oh, that was sick. So good. All I'm it's saying is, so good. Right there, slap Faker's name on, put it on red, and everyone's <laughs> like, oh, that's a great play. That is a sick play. Look at those dodges. Now, Caps needs to do more of those things in a killing manner, not a saving his life. I mean, he's doing it in the playoffs right now. It's pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's fine, it's fine. We, we can hold it. We can. They were not gonna get past first point. Didn't Let's. res again. All right, boys. I can't res you if I'm fucking dead! You died. You moron! Stop trying to- All right, I'm done you. talking to you. It so you're getting salty. He does not res when he plays Mercy. He doesn't. He does not res, period. He, he tries to pocket heal, and he go, runs in. He never reses as Mercy. Prepare your defenses. Select Tilts the fuck out of me, dude. At the time he gets kicked out, he's kind of underdog. He goes, corrals all these international players. Remember, an international team doesn't win in CSGO. That's just not the way it goes. And not only that, he obviously leads all the way back to face his ex team, who are now the best in the world. I'll tell you how desperate he was. There was actually a possibility of him going to Mouseport. God bless. That is a fate worth than death. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, yeah. That, I uh, mean, were you going to say Kyo? I felt like you were about to say Yeah, Kyo. no, I was about to Maybe say Maybe it was Kyoshima. a prism break type scenario where he's going to get Nico out. I think I think the Kyoshima storyline is phenomenal because he's been a huge impact player. He's been so Nigga Lure. All right, we better just got on it on 18th September. Of course. Screaming fire. Fire, 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 fire. Watch our heart, okay. Oh god. That's kind of weird because you said screen fire and then the fire alarm went off. If you, you've been through a few reverse sweeps before, how does it feel to do it again? Is this one different than the previous ones in the gauntlet a few years back? Well, I didn't really see it coming, but you know, the Riot wrote the script, so we just had to follow along. It kind of sucked to start 0 2, but you know, you guys told me we'd take the next three games, so I was fine with it. Yeah, and Moon also. Playoff series victory for you coming back from 02. How does it feel to make it into the semifinals? Man, after we were down 02, I just got like flashbacks to NRG where we got <laughs> we got shit on 03. <laughs> hey! Kyle, take another shot. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle left. Kyle literally left the house. <laughs> He's outside going home. His, yeah. his Uber's here. Dude, Kyle's car is gonna get fucking towed. It's oh. funny. So thank you so much. For the where did Kyle go? Quatulu! You fucking idiot! Better get to a carpet cleaner. He's sick, you sort of made another step, right? Oh, oh my yeah. god! The one be fucking three! Fuck! Oh. Really only beginning. So, congratulations, and uh, how do you think? Who is the most valuable player of this tournament? I don't know. I think it was between Simple and Guardian, but yeah, I don't know. It's you, my friend.
Yeah, it's you. I think that uh, this uh, medal, this uh, trophy that uh, right now before you, this from HLTV, from you, to you as the most valuable player. And I think that it's really only beginning for you. Congratulations. And you know...